An Uber driver got taken for a ride to the tune of $400. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Travel Time. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. This story comes out of Miami, Florida. And the headline reads, Driver Taken for Ride Trying to Make Extra Cash with Uber. And it's from the local 10 News there in Miami. Gustavo Rodriguez scammed out of hundreds of dollars after signing up to be a driver. Now you might be thinking to yourself, how is this possible? How can you lose thousands of dollars just by signing up to drive for Uber? Oh, there is a middleman involved, and this story is going to start to sound so familiar to you. At least it did to me, because it started reminding me of another rideshare startup. An immigrant from Venezuela is out hundreds of dollars and out of a job after paying for a service that can be done for free. The service they're talking about is signing up to drive for Uber. Last May, after getting his work permit and social security card, so... This guy tried to do everything the way he's supposed to, right? Gustavo Rodriguez decided he would use his savings to buy a car. He thought he could earn some extra cash as an Uber driver and started last October. But four months later, something odd happened. Odd indeed. Listen to this. On the Friday before Super Bowl Sunday, Rodriguez said he dropped off a customer at Miami International Airport. Shortly after dropping him off, Rodriguez said he got a notice from Uber telling him his account had been deactivated. This gets weirder. Uber told him the account had been deactivated because of a possible fraudulent document. And now this is Gustavo's wife talking. The supervisor said it had to do with the license. After visiting the local Uber office in person, they were told something similar and then realized something was wrong with the paperwork. One of the documents, the driver's license number was right but the date was inconsistent. Now, here's the interesting thing. Old Gus did not fill out the paperwork himself. Maybe it was because of a language barrier. I don't know. But a middleman stepped in to do it for him. But here is the crux of the whole thing. The couple got on the Uber platform through another man, Leobardo Angelo for a $400 fee. So this rascal is going out there and he's signing people up and doing their paperwork for 400 bucks a pop. It gets worse. He paid the guy, Jenny Rodriguez said. He was working for Uber all of a sudden. He was deactivated. So what does Uber have to say about this? Uber has said Rodriguez's driving history was altered, which is why his account was flagged for fraud. Uber added Rodriguez would not qualify to be a driver because you have to have a minimum of one year as a licensed driver in the U.S. So now we know why that was transcribed to 2016 because Leobardo just wanted to collect his 400 bucks and he must have realized, hey, you know, if I put down the true date, they're not going to activate him. I'm not going to get my four C notes. At the Doral business, Doral, uh, Florida, I would imagine that means, where the couple said Angelo works. Angelo admitted he filled out the Uber application for Gustavo. However, he denied charging him $400. Now, the television channel Local 10 did a little digging, and they found an app called Let Go, and under the buying and selling category was a listing for people who want to rent cars to work for Uber, and Angelo's name was listed as a contact. So this guy has a whole sideline going, signing people up for Uber and charging them big old bucks. Angelo then admitted he charged Rodriguez $100 to sign him up for Uber, even though signing up is supposed to be free. Uber responded, in this particular case, we can tell you there were a number of accounts that were trying to be created using the exact same device, the same smartphone. So it means Angelo was just signing up and they were, they were tracking his, his phone. Uber said that signing up to be a driver is free and users don't need to pay a third party. And apparently Uber decided they don't have to pay too much either. Because the last time I signed someone up, I got a message that said after a hundred rides, I would get 10 bucks. Needless to say that 10 bucks never came through. 
Whether it's your driver's license, your vehicle registration, if you don't know this person, you should be very skeptical, especially if they're asking you for money, Uber said. They added once a person uh, gives up information, it could end in the wrong hands. As for Rodriguez and his wife, they never got their money back. Of course not. He's done, Jenny Rodriguez said. He can't ever drive for Uber again. I don't know if that's true, but maybe if his uh, license is flagged in the system, perhaps. I will tell you this. Don't let other people sign you up. I have not had my sign-up code listed for a long, long time, but I'm going to in this video because it lends itself so well. Use a legitimate sign-up account. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to put it down in the description. If anyone is interested, I don't encourage people and say you should or you shouldn't. I just put it out there. If it's something you want to do, at least you won't get scammed by signing up through a legitimate driver with a real uh, reference code. So go ahead and use my sign-up code uh, when you sign up for, to drive for Uber. If there's a bonus in your area, you will get that bonus. Oftentimes, if you uh, sign up directly with Uber without going through someone, without using someone's code, you miss out on some of those sign-up benefits. So with that, you just got to be careful. And when I said earlier, it reminded me of something. It reminded me, of course, of Trip the startup rideshare service that actually had an entire category of people that they called influencers and their whole position, their whole job was signing people up to drive. They did nothing else except collect commissions for getting signups. And there was one guy in particular, you remember that rascal that was getting under everyone's skin and he was uh, trolling everyone's channels like mine and just being a general overall pest. I don't know. Is Trip driving yet? Or were all of those people just trying to make a quick buck off of someone else? I haven't heard of anyone actually driving for Trip. I don't know if that means anything. I've never seen Bigfoot. It doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't exist, but I tend to lean in that direction. So this is kind of disturbing on one hand, but on the other hand, hey, you know, we have to look out for ourselves. And I think that when people prey on, for example, here, someone that uh, is an immigrant that may not understand the language that was certainly unclear about driving for Uber, didn't even uh, qualify to do so. And here some miscreant comes in and tries to rob him of 400 bucks. I, I find it very unpalatable. What do you think? As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark and this is Mark's Travel Time.